everyone. I am back for, I'm here Sundays with Sandy, which is me, your host. And this is my 70th episode. Uh, so happy to be here. And um, sometimes I bring on my business partners and sometimes I'm actually out in the UK showing you guys around where I live because it's so beautiful in the UK. Um, I live in England, but I'm American. Uh, so I like to show my American friends a uh, little bit of the English countryside. So today I have one of my, my digital business partners with me. She's also from the UK. She's only like actually an hour away from me and I have not met her, but we're good friends. We have so much in common. So I'm going to bring her on and here she is. Everyone say hello to Steph. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Oh, thank you so much for being here. I know that your kids, you have three kids, a newborn. So we're going to try to keep this under 15 minutes. So thank you That's so right. much for sparing 15 minutes of your precious, precious, precious time. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we both live in England. And before we came on live, we were talking about the cost of living crisis in the UK. And yes. it's getting pretty serious. And I was just reading the paper that there was like a huge protest in London um, on how the government is dealing with the cost of living. So can we just talk about a few things uh, that's happening in the UK? And if you're watching the replay, guys, let me know what kind of uh, living crisis your country is going through, because I would really, really like to know. So let's start with the cost of petrol. So here in Dorset, where I live, it's 190 per liter. What's it in your area, Steph? So I know everything went up from the, you know, everything from the petrol, food and everything. But I've noticed uh, that every time I go and put petrol in my car or my husband, you know, and sometimes we do, I don't know, I'm just saying it, like 20 pounds and, we, you know, like um, last us for, you know, longer. This time now I'm like, you know, I can see my car, you know, like the miles go so quickly down and I feel like, I feel like every two, three days I have to go and put petrol in my car because I feel like it's, it's you know, it's much, um, you know, quicker now the petrol goes and we spend more money out of my pocket. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I think it's with the same like 190 in here, but I've noticed I've noticed that the how can I say when you know when we fill up the car, it doesn't mm -hmm. is like like it doesn't doesn't take you too long until you you have to go again in order to you know, and um, uh, because we both have cars, uh, I can see that we are like you know uh, asking it you know talking with each other, you know, oh my God, again, I have to go and fill up my car, you know, again, I have to put petrol in my car again and again. Mm -hmm. It's much, um, it, it, it's more expensive. And I don't travel uh, with my car. I don't travel too much, just, you know, like shopping, uh, um, uh, kids' school, nursery. Uh, if I can walk, you know, I like to walk, you know, if I have the opportunity to walk, just to not take the car. It's about first, you not know, spending. And second, is mm -hmm. good as well. You know, if you have the opportunity to, to walk uh, and to, you know, to uh, it's good exercise for you. Uh, that's fine, but yes, it's more expensive, and I have the feeling that oh, my my car now is eating so much uh, uh, petrol, uh, you know, than 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 was before, and all of this, you know, what happened happened, you know, in in in, in the now country. Uh, Doe is a beautiful country. I love this country. Yes, it's, I love um, England. <laughs> not, uh, you know, I'm. Uh, I have to say that um, I'm originally from Romania, but I've lived here for like 10, 12 years. Uh, and I love this country. I even feel that this is my country, you know, uh, 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 adopted, you know, I'm like, I'm, uh, but things are getting a little bit worse. And um, in the same time, we have to copy, you know, with all, everything that happened around us. We cannot, I always say, it uh, doesn't matter how worse, you know, situation is or the life, you know, is, we still have to kind of, like, you know, be uh, positive and keep going. We cannot, you know, go backwards. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. It's not easy. We always need to find solution, you know, for our life, you know, to live. But yes, um, the petrol, it's expensive. Yes. Well, that's not the only thing that's expensive. So before yeah. we came on live, um, I'll tell you guys this quick story that I was telling Steph. Uh, so the cost of electric and gas has almost doubled in the UK. And just the other uh -huh. day, the company that I use was trying to withdraw 5,000 pounds from my account. And wow. Steph like 
her mouth dropped. And this is, I'm not making the story up. They tried to take 5,000 pounds from my account. Uh, my husband almost had a heart attack. So that, it, it, that it, this is the true definition of crisis. So um, I'd love to share some, some statistics with you. So uh, a couple of years ago, I live in a small house because the houses are really small in England. So we're paying about 171. And so now the average is 469 pounds. So wow. Yeah, that, that's, that's you that's, affected by this. That's a lot. Yeah, we, you know, sometimes because uh, uh, you have like direct direct debit to take out uh, money, you know, out of our account. Uh, but sometimes they send us letters saying that um, you you know you spend this amount or you know in the next couple of months you you are, you're gonna spend this and that you know like an average you know cost. Uh, they sent us a letter. I think it was from one fifty uh, to three hundred seventy five. You know they sent us the letter that we're gonna spend, and I'm like, how do they know? I, I haven't even like you know how do they know that I'm gonna spend you know this this amount? I know I cook a lot. It's true, mm -hmm. but at the same time, uh, I am not. Um, I'm not a fan of going. Uh, uh, I don't know buying the food that is already cooked from outside. I yeah. like to bring you know stuff and cook in the house. And I know that this you know involve uh, the more you cook, involve you know to spend your electricity, your gas, and so and so. Um, I know we've got let's say TV, you know all of that that you know spend you know electricity. But in the same time, you cannot live without all of this. You know, you cannot just lock yourself in your in a room. And say, yeah. try your best. Yes, try. It's true. Try your best to be more responsible. You to not spend too much or to you know switch off things that you don't need. But it's still a lot of money to pay uh, uh, for the electricity. In my house, we only have the um, electricity. We don't have gas at all. So okay. I am. Uh, uh, let's see winter time when the things are getting worse. You know when the you know yeah. the heater. Uh, I hope I'm not gonna have a shock. You know, I, and this, I'm trying to keep my mind, you know, positive, but, um, you know, I'm hoping for the best, which I don't know. I think the increase is 50% uh, um, uh, the electricity from the 1st of April, all of that, you know, st all of this started, yeah. you know, like, and people are, you know, uh, 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 panicking. They, they, they panic at that time because I remember even on, on social media, you know, they said uh, mm -hmm. um they make a lot of jokes, you know, like we're not gonna uh, we're gonna switch off the electricity and uh, we're gonna have candles, you know, you know, to make yeah. out, you know, <laughs> like which in is, the 17th, 18th century. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, but even this, I, f I don't know. I'm not gonna say, it, but I feel like something, someone want to put us in a box to kind of like sit still without not having a living or a happy life because everything goes wrong i will say well yeah with the cost of living crisis i mean the government doesn't know what to do they're supposed to be sending out uh these checks to different families uh the poorest families unfortunately me and my husband we don't qualify as poor because and, uh, we're both teachers but we actually as teachers we don't make a lot of money but yes. we're not we're not considered poor. Yes, I, uh, yes. This is something that uh, I don't know if I need to say, but this is something that you know that the tax in here is twenty percent and forty percent. If you yeah. reach, you know, some amount. Yeah, we're at forty percent. Yes, uh, I don't, don't. You know, we are. Yes, we are the same. What I'm trying to say, it's annoying because yeah. anyway, they take a lot of money for you know 40 percent of your salary and in the same time you don't have your uh, child you know benefits which everyone should have but just because you are 40 percent you know like your tax they kind of put you back to not even have your child benefit like other people and i'm agree and i'm you know i'm with the people that they cannot afford it and i understand them you know because from different situations you know, they cannot work that's they know that's their level i am with them but sometimes and other people they look at us you know like the one that we pay 40 percent tax they look at us in a way that we are very rich so what do you want more mm -hmm. you know but it's not about yeah. yeah it's not about that because they don't know that uh, you know if you pay you know if you have 40 percent tax they take out like one thousand five six hundred each amount of your pocket for the tax Mm -hmm. And here's another scary figure. And thank you so much for watching. Um, I think Car Carmeline was, was watching a few minutes earlier. She also lives here in England with us. Um, just the other day, uh, I read this article. And for the first time in 40 years, 
inflation rate is at 9%. So if you guys know me already, um, I actually love, I'm okay, so I'm an English teacher, I'm a Spanish teacher, I'm a business owner, but I also love economics because um, I lived in different parts of the world. I've lived in five different countries. Like I've been a resident in five different countries. So I was like to study the economics and the economy of that country. So we are, oh, thank you, Carmela. And she says, good topic. Yeah, it, it really is impacting everybody. So Steph, back to you. Um, so with the cost of living crisis and everybody is really feeling it, uh, how does this motivate you to continue working on your digital business? Does it motivate you to keep going every single day? Yes, I think it's uh, double, you know, to, to be more motivated because um, everything will happen around us Mm -hmm. you know it's not easy but because i had the opportunity i had this chance to you know to find this business and uh, i can see uh, I, I know a lot of good results and uh, boost me up you know i'm uh, with, with you know with, with, with the uh, income of course i will not give up i can see that is a very good business and here i can talk a lot you know of the system the uh, 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 you know the automatic system that the business has in place. I don't do too much uh, in terms. I don't need to be nine to five. So this is for me like uh, for the moment I'm on maternity leave, but this is for me like uh, uh, um, extra income, which mm -hmm. in the, you know in these days everything every penny matters. It doesn't matter, you know, every penny matters uh, uh, for you and your family to save or to pay your bills to not, you know, uh, 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 be behind everything. Uh, and this motivates me to uh, reach the top, you know, to achieve my goals, uh, as well to save for my house, because at the moment we don't yeah. have our house. But uh, I, I always, you know, my motivation is, uh, you know, it's my why, my three children, that I want what is the best for them. Mm -hmm. And I want, I don't want them to be in this, you know, like, uh, or I don't want them to feel too much, you know, uh, you know, whatever happened around us. So that is, uh, uh, you know, a few of the things that, you know, motivate me to, to uh, uh, keep going, in, you know, and to uh, uh, be able to accomplish my goal just because, you know, I've got my plan B, uh, which is my uh, digital business. And I am so thankful because I, you know, I found this, uh, 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 you know, it was on social media. I saw, you know, a lady, she put an ad and then I registered yeah. and I am so thankful. This doesn't take too much of my time, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I love it. You know, it's something that I love, you know, I like it. And yeah, I will keep, yeah, I will keep going until I reach my goals. And I, um, how can I say, even if my job nine to five, I know one day something going to happen because you never know with all these crises, you know, you, you cannot, you're not sure about nothing in this life now. Uh, my business exactly. <laughs> yeah my business will still be there and uh, my business will still uh, uh, you know like uh, uh, bring income for me from you know if i uh, uh, do my part as well exactly so we're i love how thank you that's a really good point like we the future is uncertain um especially mm -hmm. well we know why the, there's a living crisis uh in parts of the world um, that's affecting everybody. Um, but one thing is for sure, Steph, is that I know where my business is going. I'm so proud to have mm -hmm. my digital business. And um, well, uh, we're, we need to uh, finish up. But everybody who is watching, because I'm streaming on YouTube and LinkedIn. So if they're going to watch this replay, uh, we've been talking about the cost of living crisis, but also how our, our digital business just motivates us because we're so uncertain of the future. Mm -hmm. Can you tell everybody how they can get more information on starting a digital business? Yeah. So first of all, if you are looking, uh, if you are watching us, uh, doesn't matter if it's now uh, live or reply, that means you are in the right place. That means you are looking for something to change, um, I don't know, your, your life, to change your situation. You are in the right place. Uh, first of all, you need to register on um, uh, one of our, our websites. Oh. Not here. That's all right. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you choose, I always say, I always say to people, uh, choose, go with your spirit. Choose, you know, uh, uh, the website that you feel, you know, the the face mm -hmm. that you, that you know that you feel like is, you know, is more, you know, uh, I don't know, nice to you. Uh, register on the website with your name and your uh, valid email address. 
you receive a complimentary webinar to watch. Um, it's 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. I always say if you don't have time to watch 90 minutes because some people, they are, you know, getting quickly bored or whatever, you know, for many reason they don't have time. Just do it like 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Or in the kitchen when you're cooking, put that video and you can still, you know, listen. In the car, anywhere, you know, you'll, you'll finish. Even if you finish within a week, the 90 minutes, you'll still like, uh, you know, you, you, you achieve something, you know. So after you watch the 90 minutes webinar, uh, decide for yourself if the business is for you or not. And if you want to go ahead, uh, or don't rush. If you think that, don't rush, because we have webinar every Tuesday and every uh, uh, Thursday, uh, even the reply. Don't rush. Wait for the next webinar until you you know you are ready to kind of like to say, yeah, this is for me. If you are ready to go, uh, well, what we uh, it's at the end of the webinar. They will tell you that um, uh, you need to pay one hundred forty nine dollars to watch there's another video that we cannot now say in uh, in two minutes in 10 minutes in 20 minutes and it's like three yeah. or four hours it's like three or four hours of video you know to watch and uh, there explains how the business works how the business is structured you know for you to understand uh there is another very important thing that i have to mention if let's say you watch the video and you are not happy you can say this is not for me i don't want within 30 days you are able to claim to ask for your money back for $149. So your money will get, you know, back in your pocket if you believe that the business is not for you. If you believe that the business is for you, I encourage you to uh, book your call with your coach. Anyway, in the video, they will explain step by step. Uh, so it's nothing uh, to be worried about. This is, our, our, uh, this is a leg legit business. We pay tax. Because I would have to mention, this is one of the things that makes me to kind of like join the business. When they said that um, you pay your tax, I was like, that means this is something serious in terms of like there are not all these scammers like, you know, like this. So you pay your tax. So you have to understand that this is, um, how can I say, the government knows about you. The, you know, the, whatever you live in, which country you live, they know that you have a business or the, your business is somewhere, you know, uh, registered for you to pay your tax when the time will come to do this um i don't know if i uh, uh missed something oh no no no, yeah, no thank you that's that's perfect so guys because uh we need to wrap up but all this information uh you can find in, in the webinar and if you are interested you can reach out to me you can reach out to steph but thank you so much Steph. i really really appreciate your time thank you for being here all my 70th episode of Sundays with me, Sandy, and today we talked about the cost of living crisis in the UK. I'm sure that this is happening everywhere else in the yeah. world, but Steph and I, we have our digital business because we just don't know where the future is going to take us um, and how long this war is going to last. So just watch the webinar, guys, if you are looking, uh, if you don't want to be worried about the future. So thank you so much, everyone. Have a great evening. Goodbye from England. Good night, everybody. Night.